If you've ever been caught driving in a rainstorm and experienced the dangerous phenomenon of hydroplaning, then you have already encountered a more negative consequence of the forces of hydrodynamics. However, we are going to dive into a more controlled situation where these forces occur. My name is Miley Siegel, and today we are going to explore the structure of the Kugel fountain. A Kugel fountain is a unique innovation where an often very large, polished granite sphere sits upon a water fountain molded to the exact curvature of the sphere. The granite sphere differs in weight from fountain to fountain, but it has been known to weigh up to 29 tons, nearly the weight of five average African elephants. Yet a small child could push it, so how is that even possible? Well, it's not due to buoyancy, nor simple flotation since granite is denser than water by approximately 1.75 grams per milliliter, it is actually due to the lubrication of water around the sphere. This lubrication allows for the sphere to rotate 360 degrees with minimal friction, since the sphere and the platform never actually touch. The only friction that plays a role in eventually bringing the sphere to a halt, if not acted upon by an external force, comes from the water layer's viscous drag. The inflow rate of the water from the fountain is also a major factor in the sphere's rotation. Though the viscous drag is the frictional force at ideal water inflow, if the inflow rate were to increase too much, then the sphere halting force, inertia, actually takes over and prevents the sphere from levitating to rotate. On the other hand, the inflow rate of water cannot remain too low because the sphere will not be lubricated enough to levitate from its platform. This, in turn, may cause scratches on the polished granite that diminish the sphere's ability to rotate. This is why the granite must be a perfect sphere upon a platform carved to its exact curvature. With the precise inflow rates, the pressure exerted on the sphere from underneath on its platform should be slightly higher than the atmospheric pressure exerted on the exposed region of the sphere, fully giving the Kugel fountain its unique properties. Now that you know the complex workings behind this fantastic spectacle, Let's take a look at a real Kugel fountain. This particular Kugel sphere weighs approximately six tons. That is equivalent to the weight of one adult African elephant. Yet I can just apply a little bit of force to get it moving. And once I start its motion, it just keeps rolling. So the next time you encounter one of these innovative structures, make sure to appreciate the elaborate forces at play behind the Google Fountain. 